Hey, good Monday morning, everybody, and welcome to your Monday morning moment. I hope you're having a great day so far. Got a hot topic for you to think about today. And you might have noticed lately, and especially since the recent evacuation from Afghanistan, that there's been a lot of talk about accountability. And that got me to thinking, of course, about what it means to be accountable. And I think we all have a good sense of what that means, don't we? Or, or do we? <laughs> Being accountable is something that most of us learn at a very young age. And I think in the literal sense, what that really means is that accountability is an obligation or willingness to accept responsibility for everything we do or say. Yeah, accepting responsibility for ourselves. But doesn't it seem that fewer and fewer people these days are willing to accept that responsibility to be held accountable? Why do you think that is? Well, I would say the answer is pretty clear. But the first thing we need to do is to consider who are we accountable to? All right, at first thought, that's a pretty easy question to answer, isn't it? Because most of us are likely accountable to any number of people. I mean, parents, if our parents are still here, a spouse, children, we're accountable to our boss. And if we're the boss, we're actually accountable to our subordinates, aren't we? And it's really natural to focus on those folks. But here's where it gets interesting. What about God? Aren't we accountable to God also? I mean, even if you're a person of faith, that's sometimes a hard thing to remember. And if you're not a person of faith, well, you can just disregard it altogether. And that's where we have a problem, a huge problem. Because being accountable to God should be our number one top priority. But it seems that's no longer the case, doesn't it? Especially for those people who serve us as leaders. If you don't think that matters, if you don't think that matters, consider what Jesus said to the Pharisees, another very self-important group, in Matthew 12, 36. Listen to this. But I tell you that everyone will have to give account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken. In other words, everyone is accountable and you will be held accountable. All right, what's the takeaway? Well, the bottom line is this. Once you become more important than God, once you put your accountability to God in the back seat, then really you're not accountable to anyone. And nothing good can follow from that. In the book of James, chapter 4, verse 17, James writes, If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is a sin for them. When we make our accountability to God, the top priority, then we just naturally end up doing the good we know we ought to do, don't we? All right, this week, concentrate, work at making your accountability to God the top priority. And if you do that, everything and everyone that you're accountable to in this world will just fall right into place. And that's a wrap. As always, friends and neighbors, may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. I want you to stay strong, keep the faith, and we'll see you right back here again next Monday morning. Bye now.